Hello everyone, here I am Dr. Bhim Kumar, going to give the another lecture on biodiversity to agrobiodiversity. First of all, I want to say that the biodiversity was not as when the earth was formed, because the earth was as a part of sun and the, at the time there was no life. But later on, simply uh, the living forms started to form at this planet from the simple to the different multiple and complex uh, organisms. So gradually the different type of the living organism they started to live at this uh, planet and that become the biodiversity. So in this way in the definition form we can say that the biodiversity is a total or uh, totality of the gene a species and uh, ecosystem of a region is called uh, biodiversity. And in another way, we can say that the variety and variability of life on Earth, that is your biodiversity. And it could be within a species or in between a species or in between the different ecosystem. Before the uh, 10,000 BC, there was not a concept of the any agrobiodiversity because man previously was totally relying on hunting as it was a source for their food. But later on, need has they they started to face some need, and they started the first that some animals would assist him for the hunting of the uh, other animals. So they started to domesticate first dog. But after some time, around 7500 BC, it was found that men are ready to go on for the civilization. So they started to grow the crop, and they first domesticate the wheat as a, a staple crop. Later on, they uh, found that they they have to assist by some other animals. So that's why they started to domesticate animals for the agricultural activity as well as for the food purpose. So this way, they realized started to realize the diversity of the life at this planet in the form of their own benefit because the civilization was continue a continuous process. So in this way, we can say that the agrobiodiversity agrobiodiversity is what is. So, bio, it is a biological diversity that is related to the food, agriculture and agriculture ecosystem. And this biological diversity could be in the form of animal, plants and microorganism. That is your agrobiodiversity. If you see the definition of the convention on biological diversity that is given by this CBD, it is the all component of biological diversity associated with the food and agriculture and all the component of biological diversity that related to the agriculture ecosystem and that is variety variability of animals plant and microorganism at this gene genetic species and ecosystem levels and which are essential to sustain a key function of agro ecosystem its structure and process so this is the good definition given by the cbd cbd why this is the group biodiversity is important if you see this this is providing different type of the services if you see the who is the natural plant breeder at this planet since long time then we found that the honey bee was the one of the best and is the best uh, uh, breeder those are breeding the our uh, whole ecosystem since long time and because of uh, be, without this it could not be possible that all the tree can set the any seed at this planet so this is having a very uh, great role in the ecosystem services other is the decomposure as we human being and all the animals and as well all the plants they itself become a waste after some time even if the decomposer will be not so it is could be not possible to recycle the product in this ecosystem so this is also a kind of ecosystem services provided by this uh, agro ecosystem other is the pest and disease regulation our as we mankind we are interested only to grow the part some plant and some animal so there could be a chance to infest by the some other uh, paste so in this way some there will be some natural enemy of that so they can control the that pest and disease so this is also a kind of the agro ecosystem services other is the nutrient cycling. If we take the example of symbiotic nitrogen fixation at this planet, a simple rhizobium bacteria is responsible for the fixing the atmospheric nitrogen and that is making available to the plant and that is continuously making a cycle and a very important cycle playing an important role in this planet. Besides this, man also taking other advantages, just like taking a, a directly source of food and a source of nutrition. Because all the uh, those are uh, food are available around us, it is because of the our agro biodiversity. And the health points of the beef, you see, the man is saving itself because of the its medicinal properties also playing a role. And may, most of the even. Uh, 
our uh, medicine made of from this uh, herbals and medicinal plants so other is your ecosystem services beside the pollination uh, our agro ecosystem having important role in maintaining a food chain if we are disturbing any uh, level like primary or if anywhere it will disturb it will totally disturb the different uh, uh, total food chain so it is having a, a role and it is a genetic source a resource of the plant as well for the animal most of the plant breed and biotechnology they using uh, agro biodiversity biodiversity as a source of the plant improvement or uh, or uh, yeah, animal improvement so this is a source of the genetics besides this it can it will always provide the source of the knowledge in the form of taxonomy and that will be very beneficial for the economical point of the view and uh, because you know uh, when we discover any biodiversity which are related to the human kind that will become a part of the economic value and this it will finally determine the socio-economic uh, it will provide socio-economic support to the people and that will improve the livelihood of the people so in recently uh, if we take the our prime minister have inaugurated one uh, first international agro biodiversity conference in delhi and that which hold uh, held in bigyan bhavan in delhi and they also given that the agro biodiversity is having very important role and that should be conserved in the terms of the, our agriculture because our future food security is depend on the our biodiversity so these are the some benefit beside that the human is the very greedy and because of this greedy nature they are causing the losses of the agro biodiversity but beside the uh, human itself there is the n number of the factor those are causing the habitat loss of all type of the uh, lives those exist at this planet among the first is your deforestation this is mostly done by the man in the for terms of making land as a agricultural or industry or other purposes other is the overgrazing in most of the developed and some developing country they are using whole of the rains land as a grazing purpose so that is creating a very high pressure on that vegetation that's why their destruction in the uh, agro biodiversity other is the unsustainable farming if you take the example of some important crop like um, uh, wheat rice maize and sorghum they are occupying near about uh, 70 to 80 percent of the arable land at this whole planet so by this type of the monoculturing only the agro biodiversity biodiversity is disturbing day by day other is global warming this is our natural as well as the man made anthropogenic and we man made uh, using most of the fossil fuel uh, for the doing our services like agriculture or industry or the all things and that is creating first finally the pressure by disturbing the our atmosphere or this uh, uh, earth and that's so that is also creating pressure on our this agro ecosystem to be disturbed and other is the population boom we are the greedy people and we are maintaining our progeny day by day and increasing our number day by day now near about 9 billion people at this planet has come and they are increasing the land those are uh, those should be uh, for the other and we are we, by this encroachment the agro diversity is disturbing day by day so what could be the change uh, way you can enhance the agro biodiversity to make the system should be sustainable the first is the organic farming you have to do by the promoting organic trade and product so that's why that could be uh, able to conserve the agro biodiversity integrated pest management is also best option because it is totally natural seed bank system you can promote by this way we can conserve land race elevate the wild type and that could be used as a source of genetic material for the future practicing good farming management we should not rely on the mono cropping or monoculturing we should practice some uh, uh, best practices like diversified a species combination can enhance the productivity on yield because we are if we rely only on one species so it will be stagnant of some time but if you give, you will give the chance and combine the, the other species that will make the enhancement in the productivity and yield promoting diversity of the crop in the term of temporal and spatial means suppose some area or and if we will diversify that area the productivity will be increased so this way productivity as well as the there will chance of grow more diversity because of the, the microclimate will be different and that will promote the other microorganism or other living things to be grow there so and pollinator management this is the one of the biggest thing because how it is a very you crime by the most of the government as well as the ngo they are crying that the pollinators should be safe because this is the natural breeder and without the help of that we cannot exist at this planet 
maintaining the of file patches of the vegetation in form suppose we are having some uh, one hectare area so some area should i should allocate for the wildlife growth or other vegetation so that's why we can enhance the uh, agro biodiversity minimum soil disturbance should be do because we are practicing most of the rice and most of the advanced crop like rice wheat and maize and these are totally very exhaustive crop and needs very high plowing day by day so we should maintain uh, we should avoid this and um, adopt the minimum tillage and zero tillage that's why we can promote soil health and diversity of soil community by the even by the application of some organic manure and bio fertilizer integrating livestock in crop production system it will increase the pro uh, uh, profitability of farm as well as supply the organic matter to the uh, field and that will be used as a source of the nutrient for the farm and application of bio control instead of applying only chemical we should focus on the or natural enemies that can control the pest below the their uh, economic injury level alternate policy for the agriculture besides the uh, government policy it is not possible to conserve the or agro biodiversity and i have already told that our um, government have giving focus that's why recently our prime minister was a uh, chief guest uh, and uh, or um, in first agro biodiversity conference so it's indicating that uh, um, government is also giving emphasis on the agro diversity and research and education this should be a part this should be a part of research as well as the education it should be in, 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 uh, incorporate as course curricula since primary and secondary level also beside only doing the research so they make awareness in the people other is the market value strategy if we modify the marketing value of the or this uh, system so that will give the opportunity of a farmer to think other crop other way to uh, to promote agro uh, means biodiversity at their farm so that will definitely is a one of the pros to conserve the agro biodiversity at the farm and uh, i think you enjoyed this uh, lecture and you learn a lot from this lecture and if you like so you can subscribe me and you can if you want to know more fact and about the agriculture you can follow me on my facebook as well as you can follow me on my uh, twitter also thank you thank you for watching